Hi, and welcome to this video about my color grading workflow, specifically a no tree that I use on 90% of my projects that ends up looking like this. So this is the uh, just a plain Rec. 709 transform from the Canon R5C footage. And this is what I end up with after about five minutes of grading. And I want to share this because I'm actually going to put this up on Canon Masterclass for people to download as a workflow. So you can actually open it in Resolve and use it for your own projects. But uh, without further ado, let's dive in. So this is our default coming out of camera. It's not very balanced. It's pretty purple. Even if I balance it, right, the, the one that I have is a lot nicer. So what is going on in this node tree? Let me blow up these nodes so you guys can see. So you have your initial balancing node. I'm just gonna um, command D these on and off and toggle them and see what it's doing. This is just bringing down the highlights, I think. If you look on each individual node, there is a tiny little highlight of what each node is doing. So in my HDR, I'm turning the, the, the brightest things down, which is sort of taking that, this uh, overly hard pop out of her skin, uh, the reflection on her skin. That's what the first node does. Then this is a subject node my labels have disappeared. Uh, this is a subject node. So what it is, is if I turn on my power window here, go into the window, it basically just is on her face and it then has an output alpha. This is this blue thing here to a second node that is then over here reversed. So if you see up here, this is the face, this is everything but the face. So if I toggle this on and off, you're just bringing up, let me see doing a ton of stuff in this node. Uh, we're bringing up the shadows, which kind of helps fill in uh, the darker areas of the face. We are adding um, three points of sharpness uh, because obviously we want to draw the viewer's eye to the face, not to the background. And this means we're not sharpening the whole shot. We're just sharpening where we want to be sharp, which is the face. I'll play the shot through. It's not going to play real time. So here's the shot playing through. So you can see it's <laughs> it's a little staggered, but uh, what else we have going on here? We have in the, the lot later, her eyes, the whites of her eyes turned blue. So what I was doing in this one is using the um, color warper to desaturate the blueness of her eyes and make her face look a little bit more natural. So that's on and off for that. Then the background, if I go back to my fit here, the background was too dark. There was the detail, like I didn't light it at all. I was hoping ambient would light it, but it kind of killed it. So what I'm doing in the background is using an HDR node here in the darks to bring up the background so that it doesn't get totally lost. So she's not just in an empty space. And you see that's connected by the alpha. This next one is probably doing the most. And you see, I'll zoom in on her face so you can see it in this. So that's the beauty pass. That's on, that's off. I've got it. Uh, you have to analyze before you run this. So it, it tracks the face through the shot. Um, and I've got beauty automatic at 0 0.9, 0 0.8. And then the other real big thing I'm doing here is just brightening these eyes. So they really pop out. And then because beauty pass can be a little intense, right? This is it at 100%. So I've knocked it down to what 50%, 0.5 in the offset, the global blend. That that allows you to diffuse um, any of the nodes or effects on the nodes. Last one is halation, which I only started using and I really love. What it does is as, uh, as things get brighter, they lose uh, saturation. So this basically put saturation back in the whites and brights and you see it's these this tone of her skin now it's taking the brights and just adding it's really making them glow and making them not go gray with as they get hot this is my uh golden gun LUT, i think it also has it also has taking some intensity out of this red here because this red is super and super this is hue versus saturation so that's with it up I'm just pulling it down so that the red of the backlight, which I probably made too saturated, uh, distracting from her face. No tree. I will put this up. Uh, some of the things may be 
uh, Resolve Studio only, so you won't be able to use them on the, or they won't be used fully utilized on the free version of Resolve. Uh, but I personally think uh, you can probably get a long way with a node tree like this. And like I said, I will leave a link below, add it to uh, Canon Masterclass, uh, just like I did the LUTs from last week. So you had to go there, go there and, and download this, open this as a timeline and, and use it in your own projects. Happy grading, good luck. Oh,